this is a bit that pisses me off about life, is we risk to make different points of view. Comedy exists to laugh at the current status, you know, whatever the Overton window is, it exists to do it. And so little is making me laugh at the moment. Yeah. And that's actually, in the same way as so little music is making me tap my feet. Maybe I'm just old, grumpy twat, but <laughs> not much music is making me tap my feet and not much comedy is making me laugh. And I feel that's a shame. All, All Quiet on the Western Front was the first film I've seen in a long time that was actually put together properly with, a, with, with you know, echoes and, and, you know, symphonic structures and stuff. You know, so I think art is really suffering as a result of this censorious thing. Yeah, yeah, I didn't watch that, but I'm, I'm surprised Sam Smith's not got you tapping your feet, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> he's got me tapping something else, <laughs> and yeah. it's the doorbell to hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it, it was bad, but um, yeah, that is a, it's a problem with art now because because you, obviously you've come from acting, I've come from comedy. We're both sort of in this weird other world now, yeah. sort of it's sort of in both worlds. You still did your Hunter film, but we've got this problem where obviously, yeah, the mainstream art is is, is woke now, and it's it's got the production values and the budgets but the content is garbage. Yeah. And then we've got this challenge on what might be called our side, which just means anyone normal who's not a weirdo, yeah. who's not a bi-romantic asexual, as the woman at Disney said. Bi so romantic Yeah, yeah, that was from the Disney meetings. What does so, that mean you're romantic in two different ways? I think it means you're not romantic in two different ways because you're an asexual. You know? right. You're not yeah. sexual, but it's you're romantically always, it's unsexual. Always about, that's actually quite a good point. All of these bi pan blah, 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 are just reasons not to shag aren't they? Yeah, complicated reasons to stay out of it. Yeah, yeah. To, to just go, I don't want to have <laughs> sex with anyone. Yeah, it's all a bit complicated. Unless, unless you're a pan-racial, bi-romantic, tripolar polar bear, I'm not interested. Yeah, I know. It limits it limits things somewhat. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's that's Disney. They've gone mental. So people like Daily Wire have started up and they've tried to make, well, they're, they're already going, but they're, they're now moving into, let's make proper films, let's make westerns and horror films. We get Vincent Gallo in and stuff. So they're trying. And you're trying to do some things, but it's difficult because we, we don't have the budget. And also, it's kind of weird to be in, in a sort of ghetto when you're making art because, like comedy, comedy, when I did stand up for 11 years, you have to get laughs from a broad range of people. They could be anyone. So the jokes have to be so good that, that everyone will laugh. But now, you know, what, it, what, what, what is the consensus? You either have to be so tame or you do something like Comedy Unleashed, which is great. But it's a certain subset of people who are aware of the culture war and have certain views on it. You know, you can do a joke about the NHS that would get you booed in a normal club. So it's not really a great thing to, for art because you want to appeal to everyone, really. Yeah, there should, there should be a consent. That's a good. That's a really good point, actually. It, it, and one of the things that isn't good about life is that we have we are moving into separate little um, yeah, parallel course. culture systems, yeah. and that can't be good for anybody because that's echo chambery. And then if someone jumps into your into your echo chamber who happens to sort of, I get really upset. I had a discussion with, about uh, racism with Bushra Sheikh, who I didn't agree with. And she was kept telling me about all the white privilege and all of this sort of stuff. And we, we put it out as a clip and it was pretty friendly. It wasn't an angry debate. And then I found like people who follow me on social media, I don't know who these people are, being really nasty to her. So I suddenly found, found myself having to go into a blocking spree. And I go, oh, they feel comfortable in my echo chamber. Mm. And you're going, oh, God, what, what lies at the bottom of my echo chamber? <laughs> yeah. You know, who do, who do they think I'm speaking for? Yeah, you, know, you don't like your, I don't like some of my echo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or, or I don't like the way that people sort of attach on to, to stuff.